So over and over again, I've been tweeted at uh, asking how we how we upload things, basically how we upload it, how we compress, how we get it online with it being looking good and also being um, a small file size, so it can go up over and over again. People say like, like, oh, how do you upload your video so fast? It's mine. Mine is like it's two minutes long and it's three gigabytes. It doesn't have to be like that. There's a magical little thing called compression, and it'll actually make your video look better on YouTube when it's done. And so let me show you the settings that we go through. So let it load up. So this is the latest video, Nutshot. And all right, so compression out of Premiere, basically what you do is click on Export Media. You guys probably already knew that part. And now you get a whole bunch of confusing settings here that is for compression. Uh, we compress to H.264. H.264 uh, preset, we're going custom. Your first thing is resolution. 1080 by 1920, that's because what I shot it in. You want to put whatever you did yours in. And then frame rate, always check that. This one's 23.976. Square pixels, make sure that's 1.0. NTSC, yes. Baseline, yeah, 4.0, yeah. Make sure render at maximum depth is checked. Encoding to H.264, you want to make sure you're doing a two-pass encoding. So basically, it's going to go through the entire video and encode it twice. That's going to ensure you get the maximum quality. And so with this, it's variable bitrate, two-pass. That's what we want to select. I'd recommend for most of your videos doing like, eh, doing like 15 megabits per second and uh, 18 peak. So that's going to give us an estimated file size of 208 megabytes. Uh, and then we want to use maximum render quality. Now let's pop over to audio really quick. Audio, format, uh, I could like to go to AAC at uh, 48,000 hertz. Stereo, of course. Uh, audio quality high, yeah, why not? Bit rate, 160 kilobytes. As long as you want to compress it to AAC and not do, and not do straight like uncompressed audio. Now you have two options here. You can hit export, and that's going to export it straight out of Premiere. Or you can hit Q, which is what we always do which sends it over to Adobe Media Encoder. And the settings are all exactly the same, so all you have to do over here is hit play. So now it's gonna run through, render my entire video out. It's gonna do two passes, you'll see in the little video preview. It's gonna go through a full time, and then it's gonna go through a full time again. Then we'll get our final file size. It'll be about 200 megabytes, and we'll pop over to YouTube to upload it. The number one rule of uploading a video to the internet forever is that you watch it before you upload it. So give her a watch. And uh, while it's uploading, just check out basically what you're looking for. You're looking for drop frames, compression errors, anything, any, mo more often than compression errors, you're gonna find user errors. You're gonna find that you screwed something up. So this is like your last chance to stop and cancel the upload and go and quick fix something. All right, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys know a little more. If you have more questions about, uh, about uh, encoding, you can tweet at me. Um, we use Adobe Media Encoder, which works really well. Um, pretty much any program you're using, it's gonna have a very similar interface if you're encoding to H.264. It might, be, it might look a little different, be in a slightly different order, but it should be pretty much the same thing. And so, uh, so let me know what you guys have. If you have any questions, and shoot, I'll try to help you out with them.